Okay, how was that? In this stage, I want to present some vocabulary that you can use in the role play to talk about your feelings. Okay, let's start with positive feelings. Below me, there's a drag and drop activity. Try to drag the words into the correct spots as I go through the meanings. The adjective happy is too basic. The word is so broad in its meaning that it hardly means anything. This first word means happy because you have what you need or you've done what you wanted to do. It's a kind of settled happy that you feel when you've finished all the jobs you had to do or eaten a nice meal. The word is content. To make things tricky we also have the adjective contented. The only difference I've found is we prefer to use contented before a noun. So if someone makes a joke and everyone laughs then they might have a contented look on their face, not a content look. Content is more positive. It's how you might describe an, an older person who's happy because they've achieved what they wanted in life and no longer feel ambitious. The next word is too easy. This means free from tension and anxiety. This is how you feel after a massage or perhaps a, a glass of whiskey or something. The word is relaxed. The next word, or rather phrase, and I know that gives it away, but the test part of this is really not the most important part. This phrase comes from America. The verb means to make something cold, but sometime in the 1980s, I think in hip-hop culture, the phrase started to mean to relax. It was quickly adopted by hippie stoner types who associated it with the intense state of relaxation they achieved from smoking pot. But it has become quite mainstream, quite a mainstream phrase, and you'll hear it in all contexts these days. The phrase is, of course, chill out. The next adjective is useful. It has quite a lot of meanings, but in terms of feelings, it means having happy and hopeful feelings towards something. The word is positive. You could say, she's a very positive person. You can use it to describe your feelings towards a specific topic. So you could say, I'm feeling positive about the meeting tomorrow. Or, I'm feeling positive about my new job. OK, the last positive word is used to describe someone who believes that they can do what they're trying to do. You can be this way about a task, perhaps driving. If you believe your driving skills are very good, you'll feel this way when you start your car. Or you might feel this way in general. Some people believe that they can handle anything that the world throws at them, that they are intelligent enough to solve the problems and strong enough to deal with the pressure. The word is confident. Now for some negative adjectives. I'm going to skip to a new stage so I can load a new activity.